In this lesson, you'll learn how to identify and use a scale factor for a given scale drawing. Now you might be wondering, what is scale factor? Scale factor is a ratio of a side length of a scale drawing to the corresponding side length of the actual object. Now what's a scale drawing exactly? A scale drawing is a drawing of an actual object that is either enlarged or reduced by a certain ratio or scale. Think about it this way. If an architect wants to make a model of a building that he ultimately wants to build in real life, what he or she would do would be to draw that building reduced to a size that fits on paper. Now this would be a scale drawing of the actual building that will be constructed. So let's take a look at scale by observing two similar triangles. The following triangles are similar. What is the scale factor? Well, as you can see, we have triangle ABC over here on the left and triangle EFG over here on the right. Now, side AB, which is right here, corresponds to side EF in the longer or the larger triangle. And if you want to find the scale factor, what you need to do is find the ratio of these two corresponding sides. So look at the side length. AB has a side length of 8, EF has a side length of 12. So find the ratio by using division. When you simplify this by dividing both numbers by 4, you get 2 thirds. Now this is the scale factor. So what this means is you would take 2 thirds and multiply it by any of these measurements in the larger triangle and you'll get the measurement of the corresponding side length in the smaller triangle. There's something else to note. Since the scale factor here is a is a fraction, two-thirds, remember that fractions are less than one. When the scale factor is a fraction, it means it will reduce the size of the side length. See this large triangle here, triangle EFG. If you multiply either of these or any of these side lengths by a number that is less than one, such as two-thirds, you're going to reduce the size of the measurement, right? So scale factors that are less than one represent reductions. Scale factors that are greater than one represent enlargements. So you can think about it as what would I have to, what is the scale factor between the larger triangle to the smaller triangle? And to do that, you would find the ratio in the opposite direction. So let's do the hypotenuse here where you have 15. So the ratio has direction, right? It's something compared to something else. So you take 15 divided by 10. Now when you divide both the top and bottom by 5, you get 3 halves. And this means if you multiply the measurement in the smaller triangle, triangle ABC, by the scale factor of 3 halves, you'll get an enlarged measurement. And this is because 3 halves is greater than 1, right? 3 halves is 1 and 1 half. So Scale factors that are smaller than 1 or less than 1 will make a reduction. Scale factors that are greater than 1 will make an enlargement. The other thing to notice here is that when you find, when we found the first scale factor, right, we were taking the ratio of the smaller triangle to the larger triangle, and we got 2 thirds. When we took the ratio in the reverse direction, right, when we took the measurement of the larger triangle, triangle EFG, to the smaller triangle, triangle ABC, we got the inverse fraction, right? 3 halves is the inverse of 2 thirds. So that's how you know you did it right, because when you go in the opposite direction from larger to smaller, you'll get the inverse of what you got when you went from smaller to larger. Okay, let's try another problem now. You are going to make a large poster for a school project. To prepare, you make a scale drawing of the poster before creating the real thing. The dimensions of the scale drawing are 4 inches by 9 inches. The dimensions of the real poster will be 20 inches by 45 inches. What is the scale factor? So let's just envision this here, right? So if you have, and this isn't the correct type of dimension, but this is a rectangle. It represents the scale drawing. So this would be the 4 inches by 9 inches. And then you're going to make the real poster, which will be larger, right? And that'll have bigger side length, something like this, and it would be 20 inches by 45 inches. Now when you're given dimensions like this, where they're this 
listed in an order 4 inches by 9 inches and you have another set of dimensions 20 inches by 45 inches the corresponding side lengths are the ones that are listed in the same order so in this case the first measurement here 4 inches corresponds to the side length of the real poster of 20 inches because they're both listed first so if we want to find the scale factor we divide one of the dimensions by its corresponding side in the other um, object, right? So it would be divide one of the scale dimensions by its corresponding actual dimension. So what we're going to do is divide 4 by its corresponding side, which is 20. 4 divided by 20 simplifies to the fraction 1 fifth. And this is as low as we can reduce this. So this means that the scale drawing is smaller and it's 1 fifth of the actual size of the poster, this being the, the real poster and this being the scale drawing, right? So the scale is one-fifth the size of the actual poster. In this lesson, you've learned a little bit more about scale factor. Thanks for watching.